subscribe, comment and like my video. Sulfites in food, causes and treatment. What are sulfites? Sulfites are preservatives and antioxidants. They're used to keep foods such as dried fruit like apricots from turning brown and also to prevent unwanted bacteria from spoiling the wine. They also occur naturally in foods. Sulfites do not usually cause issues for the vast majority of individuals, but about one in every 100 individuals are sensitive or allergic to them. If you have asthma, your chances of sulfite sensitivity are a fair bit greater. The most common reaction to sulfites is no reaction. However, for those who are sensitive to them, taking in sulfites can cause breathing problems and, less commonly, hives or various other allergy-like symptoms. These reactions can vary from a mild reaction that is not noticeable, to a severe reaction that can be quite serious. In extremely uncommon cases, a reaction can be deadly. What causes sulfite sensitivity? A sulfite sensitivity is a genuine thing, yet it's not a real allergy, says Dr. Steve Taylor, supervisor of the Food Allergy Research and Resource Program at the College of Nebraska. An allergy occurs due to some abnormal reaction of the body's immune system, but yet the immune system is not involved in sulfite sensitivity at all. It is some type of intolerance. It's not completely known exactly how sulfites create reactions in certain people. Some people clearly make allergic antibodies against sulfites, while others do not. It might be that they are missing an enzyme required to break down as well as metabolize the sulfites in the same way, dogs lack the enzyme required to break down substances in chocolate. Most allergic reactions occur after inhaling the sulfites powdered on foods while consuming them. This can then cause breathing problems or wheezing, yet the Food and Drug Administration FDA, says that less than 1% of the population experiences this level of sensitivity. What foods and drinks have sulfites? Foods and drinks that typically consist of sulfites are canned and frozen fruits and vegetables and juices. Jams, jellies and also other preserves. Dried vegetables and fruits. Grains, such as biscuits and muesli. Dehydrated, mashed, peeled off and also pre-cut potato such as french fries. Tomato pastes, and purees. Condiments such as ketchup, mustard, as well as pickles. Vinegar. Bottled lemon, lime juices and concentrates. Alcoholic and non-alcoholic wine, beer and cider. These foods might additionally have sulfites. Baked items. Deli meats. Dressings, sauces and soups. Dried fish, crustaceans and shellfish. Noodles and also rice mixes. Soy products. Various other things that might contain sulfites include. Gelatin or pectin. Sweeteners like dextrose, glucose solids and syrup. Sulfites are also used as a preservative in a selection of medicines to enhance shelf life. Prevention and treatments. New guidelines have actually made it a little easier to stay clear of sulfites. For instance, restaurants used to deal with raw vegetables and salads in buffets with sulfites to keep them looking fresh. Now, restaurants and also food stores can no longer add sulfites to fresh foods. Packaged foods that contain sulfites over a certain low limit have to include that information on the label, as a requirement. Staying clear of sulfites may be more difficult in restaurants though. While the FDA's restriction on sulfites on fresh vegetables and fruits in restaurants, such as in a buffet, has significantly reduced the threat of unexpected consumption of sulfites, unlabeled sulfite-containing foods are still present in restaurants with sulfites in potatoes are thought to be a major issue. Because of this, people allergic to sulfites should avoid all potato products when dining in a restaurant, excluding baked potatoes with the skin intact, otherwise known as jacket potatoes. If an allergic reaction presents itself after a sulfite-containing item is ingested, that specific reaction needs to be treated. For example, while bronchial asthma signs and symptoms may need the use of inhaled bronchodilator options, those that don't consist of sulfites, a serious allergic reaction and anaphylaxis shock may need treatment with injectable epinephrine. On that note, it is necessary for individuals with a severe sulfite allergy to bring injectable epinephrine, EpiPen or Twinject, and to obtain a medic alert bracelet. Subscribe, comment and like if you enjoyed my video.